All right, guys, today we are going to check out the new Hera pedal by KSR. Let's get started. Well, thanks for joining me for today's video and a quick shout out to Tommy Watson, who was kind enough to send me his Hera pedal so I could do a demo for you guys. So thanks a lot, Tommy. I hope I do this pedal justice. So real quick thing about overdrives. I know here comes Jared standing on his soapbox again, talking about overdrive pedals. But one of the things that I really like about overdrive pedals is they allow you to sculpt your tone to your taste. And if you're looking for your own signature tone, that's definitely one of the key ingredients to doing that. We're all looking for that and overdrive pedals are one of the great ways of doing that. I love the feel, response, and that awesome sculpting that they do to the amplifier so it uh, feels and sounds the way I want the amplifier to feel and sound for my particular tastes. You know, we all have different tastes and a lot of us are always searching for the right pedal. But what's cool about the KSR stuff, let me switch cameras here, is with Kyle's pedals, you get a lot of options. I mean, you get bass, middle, treble, you have the switches here, clip, clean, and dirt. You have fat, tight, and thick, and then you have level and gain. And I'll explain the gain uh, a little bit here. So depending on where these switches are and what's going on with the pedal, uh, the gain will do different things. Basically, it exaggerates whatever's going on down here. You know, so if you have like a clip, it'll exaggerate the clip and everything associated with that. If you have dirt, I'm pretty sure it's going to add dirt to uh, the amp. I mean, there's just so many awesome, you know, options with this pedal, and it's just freaking, you know, amazing. And I love Kyle's stuff because he, he doesn't just give you one thing. He gives you one thing filled with other options for you so that you can uh, use it to your taste. It's not really something that wouldn't work for anybody. This pedal should work for just about everybody because of the options that it has. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate that today is I'm going to use this pedal with two completely different types of amplifiers and show that this pedal will actually work with two different amplifiers without you having to switch pedals. You just switch the settings and it'll work perfectly with either amp. And the amps I'm going to use today are the Mezzabarba Trinity, which is a little more of a classic sound it still can do the modern stuff very well but it's a fatter thicker type amplifier less sculpted and there's more room for sculpting with that particular amplifier than there is with some of the more modern more sculpted amps like the EVH Stealth which is what I'm going to use as option two in this video and uh, you're gonna find some interesting stuff uh, happening here so uh, stick around for both amplifiers that I'm gonna use this pedal for all right, so let's start with the Stealth now, and I'm just going to do a quick dial-in with the pedal on the blue channel of the Stealth, and let's see what we can come up with. So I'm going to play a few riffs with the pedal off, and then I'll engage the pedal and dial it in accordingly. <laughs> All right, sounds great, but uh, I need a better feel response and I want more aggression and, you know, you know, better response from the amplifier. So let's engage the pedal now and screw around with it. All right, so I have it on tight and uh, I have the level all the way up and the gain all the way down. And again, in this mode, gain is not adding gain. It's just adding whatever's going on here. You know, it's exaggerating these switches. So I feel like, you know, the tight mode is not gonna be beneficial with this amp. It's already pretty tight. So let's try the fat mode and let's screw around with the knobs and switches and see what we can come up with to make it a little fuller and see what we have. <laughs> All right, a little bit better, so I think I need some more low end. Still not what 
I'm looking for as far as feel and response. So let me mess around with the gain knob. And I said gain knob, just so you guys know. Well, wow, that was actually a lot better. Um, let me, I'm on clean boost. Let's go to clip and see what we have. That's definitely better, but I'm still looking for something a little bit more, so let's see what we can come up with. There we go. I actually found some really good settings here on the pedal. I think this works really well with the amplifier. Just for giggles, let's switch it to dirt and see what that does. Actually, dirt's pretty good too, but I kind of like clip. I have the fullness, the feel, the aggression, the response, and uh, yeah, I just think that works really well. Now, you can put the treble up pretty high on this. It doesn't make the amp too bright, uh, you know, so it, it really depends on your pickups and stuff like that, but let's just screw on with that knob real, real quick. <laughs> That sounds great, man. So let me turn the pedal off and on uh, while I'm playing and see what it does. So as you can hear, it definitely has a big say over how your amp is sculpted, how it sounds, how it feels, all that great stuff. And with all these options, I was able to uh, sculpt everything the way I like it for my taste, and you'll be able to do that as well. And that's something important. Instead of switching pedals and going, well, this pedal's not working for me, you can actually just switch settings on the pedal and you can find something that'll work for you with pretty much any amplifier. And I'll prove that in a second. But before I move on to another amplifier, let me show you what 
this uh, pedal is actually doing. I'm going to switch to the clean channel on the EVH and just show you how the pedal is interacting with that so you can hear every little thing that's going on with that. So as you can see, even though I have the gain, you know, up, uh, where is it, around, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock here, it's not adding a bunch of, like, gain to the amplifier. It's just adding a nice push to it. And if I remember correctly, this knob is basically not a gain knob unless you maybe have this on. Dirt, let's find out. Yes, so I'm correct. The gain knob is associated with this switch right here. It's just going to exaggerate what's going on here. It may be a little bit of this too. I don't know. I'm not a freaking rocket scientist, uh, but I'm just going by what I'm experiencing here. But it's nice because it can really help you sculpt things. And as you notice, when I had it on dirt, it added some actual dirt to the amplifier. Whereas when I had it on clean or clip, uh, it added some push, but not extra distortion or anything like that or any saturation. So just wanted to show you that real quick. So now let's go back to the blue channel and uh, play this again and I'll switch amplifiers and show you how things can really change. <laughs> Freaking phenomenal. Uh, I think it benefited from me turning the bass all the way up and really adding that fullness. Kind of like what the uh, odd box uh, pedal does. It, it allows you to have a little more low end. I hate overly sculpted amps. They sound like they're starving for air. So this one has plenty of low end now. And with the level cranked and the gain and clip on there, I think that's really good. And I don't need the tight because this amp's already tight enough. So. I'm just wanting to add some aggression, a little more push for some response, you know, so that, that really helped out quite a bit. So now let's use the same settings on this pedal and switch to the Mezzabarba and see what we have. Okay, the, the pedal is on, so let's see what we have. All right, it's muddy as hell. So I'm going to switch the pedal off and show you what it's doing with the amp right now. So what worked really well settings wise with this pedal and the uh, EVH Stealth Blue Channel is not working at all with the Mezzabarba. It's just muddy and crappy sounding. So now let's sculpt the pedal to the Mezzabarba and see how versatile this pedal is and see if we can get a usable tone with that. Amazing. So I just switched from thick to tight and it immediately cleared everything up and made it sound a lot better. I'll do that again for you. Very, very cool. So now I have a pedal that'll work with just about any amplifier. That's freaking awesome. And I have a lot of amps and I love having pedals that are versatile. And this pedal is definitely one of the most versatile pedals I've ever played. So now that I, I'm on the right path, let's see what we can do to really fine tune everything with the Mezzabarba and the Hera together and uh, 
get the best tone possible. <laughs> Alright, so if I want to go for something really ultra aggressive, I would most likely use the dirt setting. Uh, but uh, I kind of feel like with this amplifier, you could go either way, but I'm kind of thinking that the clip is going to be a better setting to give me that clarity and uh, slightly less aggressive. And the clarity is what I'm looking for with that really nice aggression and feel. So let's switch back to that. One pedal, two different amps, two completely different types of amplifiers, and uh, it works with both amps because of the features that are on the pedal. So if you haven't checked out KSR and the pedals that Kyle makes there, I suggest that you do. They're very versatile, and I guarantee you <laughs> that if you buy one of his pedals, you'll find a way to make, make it work with your amplifier. And if you have a collection like I do, or bigger or smaller or whatever, and you're tired of switching pedals out, get the Hera or his Eros, which is also another one of his overdrives, and there's tons of switches and features on that as well. And I'm telling you, you will not regret buying these pedals because they work with any amplifier and they're so versatile. So just a quick flick of a switch and a couple knob turns and you got a whole new overdrive pedal for another one of your amps that it wasn't working for at first, but as soon as you made a few adjustments, it works perfectly with it. So I suggest that you do, uh, give them a try. I really do. I really love Kyle's pedals. They're amazing, and uh, he makes really good quality stuff. And Kyle, again, he's, he's, he's one of those guys that gives you a lot of options. It's not a one-trick pony. He's got tons of options for you on the stuff that he builds, and they're very unique. And, uh, yeah, so give them a try. Well, anyways... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. And again, thanks, Tommy, for allowing me to check this pedal out. It's freaking amazing. I'm definitely going to add one of these to my pedal board uh, really soon. I think they're awesome. And if you guys want to support the channel and get some awesome guitar tones for yourselves, uh, please click the link below, ToneWars.com, and get some awesome captures and preset packs for either Tonex, Quad Cortex, or the Kemper. There's plenty for you to choose from. I specialize in high gain tones along with Glorious Cleans as well. So get something and uh, hope you enjoy those. And to all my Patreon supporters and subscribers, thank you very much. And if you're new to the channel and you like what I do here, pretty much unbiased reviews of gear and there's no processing at all it's all raw tones so there's no fixing anything here feel free to subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified every time i either go live or come out with another episode i got a lot more coming up for you guys and i'll see you on the next one